Good morning. I hope everyone is doing well this morning. Uh, if you're like me, you're recovering from overeating and uh, yeah, just uh, way too much sleeps, but I had a great time, enjoyed time with my family, hope everyone else was able to do that as well. And uh, I was thinking, you know, this time of year, we're all thankful for a lot of things and especially thankful to spend time with our family. And of course, you can see in the background, I've got a little bit of a weight room here. Clark was in here last night. Uh, she was trying to lift weights with people. I didn't think she, uh, so uh, she thought she was lifting. I was actually helping her with it, but she, she sure enjoyed it. But thankful to spend time with my family. And, uh, you know, as we come through, and I guess TJ had this message, he broke off a job just for, for this week to, to be thankful and think about things we're thankful for, but we can be be thankful every day and should be. And and how we display that the spirit of gratitude we have uh, toward God that that's that's a great witness for people to see. And uh, you know, I think about uh, you know we all have a lot of amount of time here. And Psalms uh, ninety and twelve tells us to number our days, and, and we don't know how long we have. But you know, David over in Psalms thirty, I think it's verse nine. He talks about, say, God, how can I praise you? Uh, can the dust praise you if I'm in the grave? And I thought about that. You know, while we're here, uh, we've got a lot to be thankful for, and especially if the Lord saved us. You know, it tells us in Revelations 4, I believe, 11, or I got it right down. Yeah, 4 and 11, it says we're created for God's uh, pleasure. All things are created for God's pleasure, and that includes us. And God, uh, he tells us if we don't, cry out to him, or if we don't uh, worship him, the rocks will cry out to him, we also. And, and in doing that, that can be uh, in the spirit of uh, thankfulness as well. And, you know, we got a lot to be thankful for. And I, I think about, we're quick. We're always telling people about good things, like whether, you know, ladies may tend to do it more with clothing or or uh, cosmetics or whatever it may be. And, and guys, will, guys will do it a lot of times, whether it's with uh, golfing or accessories for sporting or hunting especially hunting a lot of guys but uh you know the one thing we should want to tell people about is jesus uh and uh you know i was thinking about that there's nothing more important to tell people about jesus but you know the one thing that we all share in common that we'll tell people about more than anything and you know especially i used to be around a bunch of guys on cbs and they'll come is is eating places where we eat and uh have you tried this restaurant or have you tried uh, this dish or, uh, and you know, we'll go on and on about that, telling people about good places or uh, if there's a deal to be got somewhere. And I thought, you know, the Bible tells us over in Psalms 34 and 8, it says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that puts trust in him. If you want to tell them about something good, it's about him. And uh, we can do that and show them praise to him and, uh, being thankful, uh, TJ done, done a, you know, he'll do, and I can't remember, it's, I'm not a, chem, a chemistry teacher or a chemist, but he'll do those illustrations and he'll have the smoke in the jar and he'll displace that with, uh, I think he does it with water one time or maybe with a candle or something. And he says they both can't exist to, together. One, one will always do away with the other. And that's, you know, if we'll get up and we'll have the spirit of thankfulness and gratitude and we'll be thankful, uh, not in every situation, uh, or I should let me correct that. We can be thankful in every situation, not necessarily for every situation. Then God will bless us and, uh, we'll be able to show the love of Christ to others. And I was, I was thinking, you know, in doing that, I'll taste and see that the Lord is good. I thought about, uh, just being thankful in the little things. I got a good friend who's, uh, his mother is an elderly lady. She's well up in age and she's been in the hospital for a while. And I'll call him, check on her every few days, and and he'll say she's doing good. And of course, I'll tell him I'm praying for her. He'll say, "Yeah, I pray." He said, "I know, I can know the prayers going out, and I'm thankful God's given me another day with her." And then I called the other day, and he said, "I'm thankful God has given me another week with her." And I thought, what a good attitude he's taking it every day that he gets with his mother. He's thankful for, her and he's thanking God for. Her. And if we'll learn to do that, if we'll learn to be thankful, and as I as I look, and I've got so many things to be thankful for, and and my kids are all healthy, and to be able to spend time with my family and uh, see little Clark run around, we we've got a lot to be thankful for, and most importantly, if we've been saved. And for those of you who know how I live, uh, the way I lived, and and where the Lord's brought me from, and just so thankful for uh, a praying mom, thankful for the Lord saved me, and. 
And so start your day. Just give thanks for, if you look around, you've got a lot to be thankful for. Hope you guys have a blessed uh, rest of the week and uh, don't get too much Black, shop, Black Friday shopping in today. Uh, God bless you guys and love you.